Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new here. So in today's video, Evelyn and I are going to be answering your guys' truth or dare questions that gave us not long ago in a post on our community tab. Thank you to everyone who gave us a truth or dare. Uh, we're, we have been really excited to th do this video and I know it's been long overdue, but let me just say it's going to be worth the wait. So a little information before we get started. We're going to be going from the easiest truth or dares to the hardest. So by the time you get to the end of this video, it, yeah, it's going to be pretty intense. Um, and you guys are crazy, by the way. You give the most epic dares ever. So this is going to be... Uh, one insane video so i guess let's get started okay so first up we are going to be starting off with a dare this is from carter cam carter says to run on rp island with no tack this is super easy um a lot of people do this all the time when they role play so we're just going to take off the tack we have on our horses right now by the way both of these are new horses of ours and mine's a mismatch. I think I'm going to start collecting mismatches now. Okay, so I'm going to go into wild mode and let's run around Darby Island. I'm going to ride. Alright, so next we have another dare from Carter Cam. Uh, Carter says, say a horse saying when you are jumping like a horse poem. Um. Hey, what? Horse poem. Okay, so sorry that we didn't necessarily understand that dare, Carter, but you're awesome, and we thank you for uh, these two or dares. So moving forward. Okay, so next we have a dare. This is from Thalia. She says, "Good job on getting 1K subscribers. Thank you." Um. I dare you guys to yell cannonball and fall out of the cliff in Lunar Islands, and while falling in slow motion, falling out of your horse. This is a great idea, so we're going to head over to Lunar Islands right now. Okay, so we're here, and Evelyn is still making her way up the cliff. I'm getting my text ready to say cannonball, and we're going to be using jousting sticks, which will help us fall off the cliff a bit easier. I am I'm totally ready to go cliff diving. I'm ready. I think I'm first up too, and then I'm definitely going to get Evelyn after this. So we have made our way up on the highest hill on Lunar Islands. I hope this is good enough. It's going to be one big fall. Okay, wow. Um, rate my fall, you guys. I think I stuck that landing for sure. Okay, now it's Evelyn's turn. Time to get my revenge. next there's a truth that says from winter plays also a truth for evelyn when did y'all start your channel well i think i think it was back in december during the winter event we started it so yeah okay so next we have a truth from evie events evie asks what's your least favorite horse breed and coat personally my least favorite horse breed would probably be the quarter horse 
But don't get me wrong, I like quarter horses in real life, even in game two, but I just feel like they could have done the model a little bit better. Same goes with the Mustang, honestly, as well. Uh, like I said, I like those horse braids, just I definitely, definitely feel like the models could be a little bit better. As far as coat, I don't know, I like all the coats, but I'm gonna have to go with like a boring bay coat probably on a court horse i i don't know so my least favorite horse breeding coat is breed would probably be mustang because i think the mustangs in real life are really pretty and amazing but i think the game made them or trick made them not so realistic in how they should be looking so i don't think they look the best right now they should definitely use an update and coat i don't know and flea bitten's not my favorite, but then I just say one of the common coats, so. And next is another truth. This one is from Valerie Gamer Girl. Uh, Valerie says, What inspired you guys to play Wild Horse Islands and make this YouTube? Okay, so this is a great question. So, as far as what inspired um, me to play Wild Horse Islands, well, that's easy. Evelyn is the one who inspired me. Uh, she's the one who found the game, and she showed me, and at first I was like, no way, I don't want to play that, it doesn't look fun, it doesn't look interesting, but then later on, she eventually got me into it, showed me how to play, and everything, and then I guess you could say I got addicted, plus, Evelyn and I really love horses, um, so as far as making the YouTube, um, there's a lot of things that inspired us. I would say other Wild Horse Islands YouTubers. Um, just the fun of me and Evelyn playing the game in general. And wanting to share share what we do on there. Make content. And family, of course. And also, I, I love computer things. I like editing and things like that. I just found Wild Horse Islands myself. So, I don't know, maybe what inspired me would be just horses in general, I'd say. What inspired me to start a YouTube channel? I'd say the game and probably Joe. Okay, so another question from Valerie Gamer Girl. She asks, what event horse are you guys bonded to the most? I'm going to be honest, I definitely don't take out my event horses as much as I should. Um, but the event horse I am most bonded with so far is probably my Ghost Arabian. I got her um, during the holiday event. And her name's Raven. And the previous owner even named her Raven. And I really liked that name, so I kept it. So my event horse I'm most bonded to would probably be my Skeleton Arabian. Because I use it for mining a lot. And... It was really fun making the tax set. Also, somebody also wanted to like buy the tax set for forty thousand. I don't. I don't know if that was really fair, and I don't think I could do that. I worked really hard for that tax set. Next, we have two truths from Star Lemon. Star Lemon says, "Happy one K again. Thank you." Um, the first truth is, what is your least favorite horse? So my least favorite horse. It's probably this Clydesdale. Um, I don't ever take this horse out at all. Right now, it's just a storage horse. And don't get me wrong, the Clydesdale's pretty and all. But I just don't use this horse. And yeah, that's about it. So my least favorite horse is this Akultiki. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but... I really like the breed and all, but the coat is kind of boring, so. And it's just been a storage horse, so I'm not really bonded to it at all, so that's why I say that. So, Starloman's other truth was, or your least liked horse by others. I'm not so sure about that one. I don't know. Well, I guess I can ask Evelyn. So, what's your favorite, least favorite horse of mine? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so Matilda Aventer has a truth for us. Matilda asks, 
My truth is if you could change something in Wild Horse Islands, what would it be? So if I could change something in Wild Horse Islands, it would probably be mm, Volcano and Lunar Island. So what I would change about them is how dark they are. Like literally when I'm grinding on those islands, it's so dark and my eyes always hurt and I eventually always get a headache when I'm on those islands and you could tell me like turn your brightness up I mean duh I do that and you could tell me turn the brightness up on the game and the settings and I do that yet still every time I get a headache so that's why I limit myself from grinding on those islands unless I need to I also have another thing that I would love for Wild Horse Islands to, well, not really change, but to include, is the night-to-day settings. So, there's no setting on those, obviously, but it would be cool if there was, especially for a YouTuber. Like, there are some shorts where like we need it to be daytime to record this like one scene or we need it to be nighttime so we will literally wait till the perfect time of day in the game until we shoot that specific scene so it would just be awesome if like there was like a little button in the settings that said like keep it daytime or keep it nighttime that would just be awesome what I would say for them to change is for them to bring back the emotes and bring back the clothing store. Okay, so the next thing is from Apple's Staples. You said, congratulations again on 1K subs. Thank you so much. And truth or dare, have you ever lied to each other? What this means is, has Joe ever lied to Evelyn or Evelyn ever lied to Joe? <laughs> Um, yes, all the time. Evelyn lies to me practically every single day. And you'll blame it. Like, it's a prank. No, but you're still lying in the process. Keeps me entertained. See, she even admits it. I don't actually, like, lie lie, but I I just make up stories. And that's still lying. And that's why I always have to keep myself on guard with Evelyn. Okay, so we're going to end the video off with one more truth or dare. Um, just to let you know, this is part one of our truth or dare video. There's going to be a part two and maybe a part three. I would have done it all in one video, but the final product literally came out to two hours. And I cannot have a two hour video for you guys. So I am separating it into parts. Anyways, our last truth or dare is from I am just an average. Uh, you said, uh, I love the new profile picture. Thank you so much. Um, and you have a dare. I dare y'all to make the weirdest breeding combination in Wild Horse Islands. Sorry if that doesn't make any sense. No, that does make sense. So that's what we're going to do. So for this dare, Evelyn and I are going to be co-breeding. So the horse I chose was this Frisian. It has an Appaloosa coat, which is kind of a weird combo um especially with the gray mane and tail so we'll just have to see what evelyn chooses so i literally just caught this on mainland and i think it would be a crazy combo because i don't know cor wait it's, it's an appaloosa appaloosas are not the best breed so i think that would be kind of a crazy combo hey i don't i don't i don't mind it's only 709 dollars saves me money saves me money stop And we got another Appaloosa with a gray man and tail, so I'd say that's a pretty weird combo. Alright you guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. 
that's going to be all for part one. Remember, there's going to be a part two and probably a part three. I hope you guys are excited for those to come out soon. Also, a big thank you to everyone who gave us a truth or dare. And um, if your truths or dares weren't in this video, they'll probably be in the next. Also, if you had a comment and it was in this video but we didn't get to another one of your truths or dares that was on your comment we're probably going to save that to the next video because it's a little harder and remember we're going from the easiest truth or dares to the hardest all right that's gonna be all see you next time